Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix a EA app error code EC10000. So uh, the first thing what you need to do here, uh, you can just go to EA app, go to on, on your profile and log out to your account and log in again and you need to look if the problem persists or not. And if the problem persists, then another thing that you can do here uh, on EA app, there is a uh, three little lines on the top left corner. You need to press on that and then you need to go to uh, help and app recovery and clear cache here, right? And if the problem persists, then another thing that you can do here, uh, basically you need to clear EA app cache, um, not through app, but through folders. And to do so, you just need to press Windows Anarchy. Uh, just write percentage sign, app data percentage sign, uh, press OK. And then you need to go to app data, local, and then you need to delete these two, uh, three folders. So this one, this one, and this one, right? So delete these uh, three folders. Make sure that nothing is running on your computer related to EA app because it won't let you to uh, delete the, these folders. So as you can see here, uh, there is some tasks running. So you need to make sure that no, uh, nothing is running. And don't worry, uh, by deleting these files, you just delete cache files. So it will not affect the games, uh, the game or the app. Uh, basically, what you uh, need to do is to re-log into your account again and you will be fine. So delete these uh, three folders and then you need to look if the problem persists or not. And if the problem persists, then another thing that you can do here, you can run your EA app as administrator. So locate your EA shortcut on, on desktop or here on EA, and then open file location. And then what you need to do here is to go to properties, um, compatibility, and make sure to run this program as administrator, All right? And then you need to look if the problem persists or not. And if the problem persists, then another thing that you can do here, if you're using third-party antivirus uh, programs like Avast, Kaspersky or others, uh, please turn that off. And another thing that you can do here, you need to go to virus and threat protection. And then you need to go to, uh, as you can see here, uh, manage settings here. Uh, and then you need to turn off real-time protection. And also you need to <clears throat> go to controlled folder access here and turn that off. And then you need to go back to uh, uh, this virus and threat protection settings. Scroll down until you see exclusions and you just need to uh, add electronic arts folder. So press add an exclusion, go to folders and then you, ne you need to go to your um, basically files were install EA, but it's usually on disk C, program files, um, electronic arts. So you just need to select electronic arts and select the folder here and add it here. Uh, same thing with the Windows Defender Firewall. So you just write Windows Defender Firewall and then uh, just go to turn Defender's uh, Firewall or on <clears throat> and just turn on uh, the Defender Firewall and need to look if the problem persists or not. And if the problem did not persist, uh, if the problem persists, then you need to change your uh, DNS settings. So what you need to do here, uh, you need to go to <clears throat> this little network icon here, right click on it, go to network and internet settings. And then you need to go to advanced network settings. And then you need to go to more adapter options. And then right click on it, go to properties, uh, find internet protocol version four, and then select this option here, use the following DNS server addresses, and you need to write Google DNS servers. So on preferred DNS server, you just need to write 8.8.8.8. And on alternate DNS server, you just need to write 8.8.4.4, press apply. Okay, restart your computer. <clears throat> and you need to look if the problem persists or not. And if the problem persists, then the last thing that you can do here is to flush your DNS. So you just need to look for command prompt or CMD and then uh, just uh, <clears throat> open it as an administrator. Press OK. And then here you just need to write ip config slash 
slash dnx. All right, and you should get this uh, uh, message here uh, successfully flushed in the, uh, DNS resolver cache. So that's pretty much it. What you need to do here if you want to fix a e app error code EC10000. So if I help you out, please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care. Bye.